Good evening and welcome to Shelburne Park for the second round of the Sporting Press Irish Oaks where some of the best bitches in the country will be contesting this competition. Now let's have a look at the first heat. She must have been delighted with that tonight. She was excellent way out of the traps. Yeah, she, she's very, very good away. She's probably more suited by the inside, but she, she has 196 twice out from the inside, but she's excellent away. She won the sudden sprint in uh, Yaha last year for, for the owners. I haven't got her that long. I've won her for five races. She's four of them one, but she's well bred. She's going back to Aiden Roaches, the Westmead move line, and she's very good away. And long term, what's the plans for this bitch? Hopefully win the Oaks. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she'll, uh, they'll take her home, she'll be breeding, they'll, uh, she would never be sold anyway, she, she'll be bred from, you know, so, and the owners are delighted, so. Were the owners here tonight? No, they went to Cork to see it, yeah, so they're, they said they'll be here the next night, so they were very confident she'd get through. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, well, many congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank Thank, you. Thanks very much. Robert, another brilliant performance tonight. Yes, yeah, she broke very well. She has been doing that in the last two, three races now, so she keeps that up. She should go another few rounds anyway, I hope. She's a very lightly raced bitch. Yeah, she has so many races. She Last year, she was in the Oaks in the first round. She ran very well, but she was withdrawn because she got tonsillitis. And then, before the Oaks, she won the Lee Strand. So she's, she was a great bitch last yeah. year. Like, she's one, probably one of the best bitches in the country. But uh, then she ran in the puppy derby and she got injured. So she's had having a great break and then she came in season. So she's back over season and she's running as good as ever. She ran super tonight anyway. Yeah, she ran very well. I didn't I didn't I was a bit worried about Trap because she's had to be running out the inside all the time, but she broke well and she stayed at five fifty, like she'll yeah. get to five fifty, so please God now. She looks to have a bright future ahead of her. Yeah, well, for breeding she looks on her damn side, she's Westmead Hawk, our Droopy's Brittany. So she's very well bred. So you'd be looking forward to her. Of course finish, you would. <laughs> finish racing. So. You'd like to be training some of her offspring. Yeah, well, hopefully, if if they're good enough, you know, it, it all depends. There are the real good bitches too. They don't throw them as good as, you know, but uh, sure, see how she gets on. Absolutely. Well, many congratulations tonight. Thanks very much. Closely bunched race, but she pulled away very well in the end. She did, and I was surprised because trap five wouldn't be her real trap. One or two would be her. her she loves the rails, so it, we came with just hoping to qualify. 
and she did surprise us. So it's great news. Lovely to win any race, but lovely to win in Shelburne. Of course it is. And she's an extremely well-bred bitch. She is. Uh, well, she's Girl with Guitar, and Girl with Guitar, her mother, was a Noakes finalist herself. And uh, Girl with Guitar has thrown some really nice dogs. Uh, Quail Hollow, he's Royal Impact, and... Um, uh, this litter itself, Honda Black. There's been a nice few. The, the Kuda sprint down in, um, uh, was it Krogoga, oh right? Trilly or Cork, yeah. He, that was won by her brother, Halftime Show. He's a good dog. And then there's another one in the Cox final uh, next week, Excellent. and uh, that's Honda Messi. So they're, they're a good litter. You know, they're not a bad litter. They're all shaping up nicely and run better than ever now. And there's one winner again last night in Dundalk. So. Excellent. And she's had a 33% strike rate. Tell me about some of her previous races. Well, uh, she came here as a pup, a youngster, because she qualified so well. She was uh, she qualified hot and uh, she ran a few races here. I was unlucky. She fell over the bend one night and we decided to bring her back to Dundalk, our local track, and she won in 28, 90 something on, on her return after the fall over. So since then, she was entered then. She's decided she was a bit of a sprinter. We put her in the bar one because she bet Razzled Azarega one night in, in Dundalk. We thought that was an indication that she could maybe be a sprinter so she went to the final she did her proud third every night but she hung in there and she came third in the final bar one was my first classic so Excellent. maybe this might be my second classic <laughs> hopefully yeah. so and long term what's the plans for her oh definitely breeding uh, me Hall and Morita because the pup booked I believe no he said that to me after the bar one when, when he won it he was trying to console me he said I'll take a pup out of her so me Hall I hope you're listening so um, yeah uh, we'll breed her and um, we're looking forward to that because Scarab Guitar is offspring, especially the, the bitches are breeding them really, really well. Quam Solarium has bred Kira King and um, Beano's Ash has bred some fantastic winners. So, yeah, we're hoping that she'll follow the line and do us proud because we, we could have sold her last year. We made a decision not to sell her, so we held on to her. Well, it looks like you made the right decision and many congratulations on your win. Tonight. Thanks, Maria. Thank Lovely you. to meet you. Hope I'll meet you again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It looked like she was beaten, but she battled back extremely well. Yeah, we're absolutely delighted. Uh, we only got the bitch last week from Dolores Roof, primarily for breeding, and running her in the oats was just a bonus. We were hopeful she'd qualify, but we didn't dream she'd win. She did so it exceptionally well. We're ecstatic, well. yeah. And you're mainly into breeding dogs as opposed to training them. Tell me about some of the bitches that you have. Uh, well, years gone by, we had a bitch called Mercury Queen who threw two malign Jack, who was... Uh, favourite for the English Derby and Coolavani Burt who was favourite for the English Derby. We've also got a couple of she uh, Shelbourne bitches, Shelbourne Capri who is the mother of Aero Nemesis who won the consolation of the English Derby this evening and another bitch called Shelbourne Dora who threw a, a, a dog called Shelbourne Jeff who Pat Curtin owned with Tony McCoy. Um, so yeah we've got some good brood bitches and as I say that's primarily what we do it for the breeding side. Well she looks like she's going to be another good brood bitch. Please God yes and uh, who knows she might get, go a bit further in the oaks yet. Hopefully so well many congratulations on your win tonight. Right, thanks very much. Thank you. some performance by that bitch tonight yeah it's the best the best time of the night so far it is it's, she's in her favorite trap trap one you know but um, she had to work hard to make the corner you know it was she was brave at the corner to make the bend and 
you know, she stays good. She's a strong, strong bitch, like, she you know. She really is. Yeah. And you've already bred a litter of pups off yeah, of her. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she had uh, three dogs and three bitches. They were born the 2nd of January. Uh, they're, they're, there's there's three, three black dogs and two black bitches and a, fa and a beautiful fawn bitch. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're beautiful pups. They're, they're five months old now. And, uh, you know, they're, 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 they're like the mother. They have a great temperament as well. They're lovely pups, like, yeah. I'm sure there'll be people biting your hand off right. to try and get their hands on some of them. Yeah, sure. We, we'll deal with anybody who comes down. We, we'll, we'll talk. We're very reasonable people. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and I said I probably wouldn't bring her back, but listen, she was, she was knocking the place down in, 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 in April. And I said, look, I'll take her into Torles. I brought her into Torles. She did 1802 in a trial. And I said it to the hair driver. I said, what kind of a time was that? Because I'm thinking I might run her... In a, in a competition he said look yeah. you can go anywhere with that bitch he said that was a phenomenal time today he said the track was slow you know so we entered her in, in Torless for a, for a race but he, he, he hadn't dogs to put in again or so he, I asked him would he put her in an open sprint and he did he put her in, the manager put her in an open sprint and uh, and she won it from trap 5 again she was very brave at the corner and she did a good time like 1940 or She's a super bitch. This yeah. is her 24th win tonight. Tell me yeah. about some of her previous wins. Yeah, she won. Actually, yeah, we started out here. She, she's raced a lot. Most of her racing has been at Shelburne. She ran here in an unraced bitch. And then she went to the Puppy Oaks. She, 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 won, she won the Puppy Oaks here, yeah. She won the Puppy Oaks. She, yeah, she won the Puppy Oaks. We've been the first of her biggest wins. And then we brought her to Harold's Cross. She came in season then and we brought her to Harold's Cross. Oh no, sorry. She won the Puppy Oaks here and we went to Harold's Cross and she won the Puppy Oaks at Harold's Cross. She came in season then maybe September time and we brought her back for the Night of Stairs here, the yeah. first Night of Stairs. And she she beat College maybe. Uh, that that was probably her biggest, Boyd, biggest run, 28 away at the track was on fire. Like, Gary but um, office, yeah, listen, she, she's, she's, she's one in a million. Horner Gem is one in a million. I know that, you know, she's a very special dog like and just thrilled to be able to bring her racing. Absolutely. And after the Oaks, what do you plan to do? Keep running her or no, are you going to go back breeding? I, 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 I probably will go back breeding. I really think she went through the Derby last year. She ran six 550s here she, she, to get to the... So she, ran, she was, she was beat a short head in the, in the... To qualify for the final, she was beat a short head in the Derby semi-final. And she won the Constellation Derby. And I got a phone call from manager in Cork to come to the Cork for the Laurels. And I went to Cork. It was a mistake, you know, because she's had enough of running. The, the six rounds of the Derby was hard on her. So, listen... I'll see how she goes here. I, you know, I'm not looking any further than the Oaks, to be honest with you. You know, because at least she's competing with our sex there, like, and we will, we'll take it from there. But yeah, listen, yeah, we'll, we'll see out this competition first, and then we'll, we'll, we'll decide. Brilliant. Well, massive congratulations on that win tonight. This week's run was a big improvement on last week's. Ah, yeah, well, she was a little off colour last week now. I suppose getting used to Shelburne too, it takes a couple of runs, you yeah. know. But uh, yeah, very happy with her tonight now. So she's putting it together. She, she had five of her last six won now, so she's going the right way. She really is. She and is. she's a homebred bitch as well. She is, yeah. I had the mother and father. Uh, the father, Velvet Cash, who was a great bit of a dog. but And the mother then, she, she, um, she was a great bitch, Troopy Snowdrop. Uh, Michael Dunphy's breeding there. And uh, she seems to be throwing fairly good now, so hope for the best now. Hope for the best. And long term, will this bitch go breeding or do you plan to sell her? No, no, we'll breed of her maybe next year sometime. She's, she's young yet, you know, so that we're running in her yet, <laughs> in, in her yet, hopefully, anyway. Absolutely. Well, many congratulations on your Thanks win tonight. Thanks very much, Maria. Thanks Thank very you. much. All right. There's been some great performances tonight here in Shelburne, but the highlight has to be born a gem, winning in a super time of 28.40. Join us next week for the quarterfinals.